So I thought I'd stop for a few minutes and give you an update on the channel. Basically, all those pots you saw out in the garden that I was needing to repair or go over, they're all done. They're all stacked away simply because we've had such bad weather non stop. Then there's nothing been a lot else to do apart from fix all the equipment and get all that ready. So we're way ahead of schedule with all that. So much so, as you can see in here, I've actually started pots. We've got pots which are like the base. These are all new ones. Like this one, which is a large one, which is built. It just needs netting. And right up to this one, which if any of you remember Ancient Pot, well, this is a rebuild of Ancient Pot. It's even got some of the old bars in it, some of the old net from it. And this is a trap from, this is from another pot. It's a better one. The trap in the Ancient was pretty destroyed, so well, not very good. So we're rebuilding that, same dimensions and all the, that lot. So that'll be out in the water next year. And in two or three weeks, well, two and a half weeks, I've got to go and have some work done on my jaw. Now, hopefully I'm going to keep uh, videos coming up and going fishing when we can get out. Like I said, the weather's just been dire for weeks now, just with storms and rain, basically. And there hasn't been a lot around, to be honest. We uh, heard down around the harbour and that is a few squid, but that's all we've heard of really being caught. But anyway, I had um, a kink tooth when I was a child and I had all my teeth removed, my chewing teeth at the back to space my teeth. I had too many teeth and all that sort of thing. And three braces over a period of 18 months put in my gob to straighten it. It kind of straightened it, but it wasn't great. And when I was in Sweden some years back, I had it cut and straightened and all that. But sometime after that, or a few years after that, I got an infection over that area and it was basically eating the bone away. So I had some work done, which cleaned it all up stop the infection that kind of thing and it was left at that well anyway this is 10 years on now and it's back and it's doing the same thing as it was so now they reckon that procedure wasn't great back then or it has a very low success rate so now i've got to go in and have a bone graft in my jaw which involves pulling out a few teeth along here and well one of them is a in, not a is a crown anyway pulling couple of teeth out there and then they're going to do the bone graft or whatever it is they're doing onto the jaw to strengthen the jaw because the jaw is slowly disappearing so i might be out of action for a little bit i might not um i'm going to try and keep videos coming up you may not hear me talk a lot in the videos anymore which would be great for some people and i'll probably still appear in them but you might not like say hear me say much especially if i've got all this going on in my mouth and hopefully I can just carry on as normal because once that's done and the graft is done, I have to wait three months to then have my posts or whatever put into the jaw after that. And then three months after that, they'll be putting implants in. And then when that's all done and a total bill of around minimum of around six thousand um, pounds. Yeah, we're back to normal. Everything's done. Everything's fixed. And that's what I'm hoping for. Get it all done through the winter. And hopefully by the time we get to spring or summer, everything's peachy, assuming everything goes well. So if you get any videos, weeks where the videos are missed or you don't hear me so much, you'll know why. So I just wanted to let you give you an update on that. Anyway, let's get back to today's video. And what is it? Well, let's just go and find out. So it might sound a little bit noisy this morning. I'm just running up the reserve engine just to make sure that, just give it a start every so often, make sure it's all running well. Now we're about to head out, do seven pots, then we're going fishing. So we'll see you out there. Have it low in the water so it's obviously not gonna it's not down on the bracket i'm not gonna bother with that because it's in the water enough should do four or five knots plenty we're doing two and a half three knots now we're not even properly in the water I 
you what, if you come to this gap away from the front of the boat now, bring the brake back so we can lower the back down so I can get the engine in the water. In. Just a bit of a snaggy rope in the rocks. Another one there. They look a bit small, but cuckoo rats. Big one for a. Yeah, I can see he's undersized straight away, so. He Just under again, they're all just under. No, it has been done in the winter, obviously. That's what it looks like. Another one with the claws. They fight. There's so many in this area. Or little ones at least. They fight a lot. They lose their limbs. That's why you want plenty of lobsters, but you don't want too many that you end up with the constant one chlorus and no chlorus all the time. Yeah. They fight their territory all the time. See what a pot of lobsters looks like? But everything undersized, I think. Maybe that one. Maybe one. We'll I find this, out. This one here is over. Yeah, maybe that one. But that's a pot of lobster here.
one's got eggs, look. Five small ones. This is what you get like over the edge of the park. Some of the little ones are pretty good. What three actually have one in it? Yeah. Another pot. And a brown crab to mix mix it up. Oh watch him. If he gets hold of the yeah. lobster, you've got to get him out quick. It's two seconds and they'll lose their claws if he gets hold of them. I'll just, just, chuck just, just chuck him down. Chuck him down. Don't hang about. Like I say, if he suddenly grabs hold of something, that'll be the end of it. Yeah, just chuck him down. Start getting stuck out of the way. We'll get him out if he can. He's going to go on towards the ground. So, if you can't get it out of the neck, it can't be that small. <laughs> yeah, fling it, chuck it over, chuck it over. We don't need it. We've got plenty of crab at the moment, so we don't need any. Two little ones, yeah, Two chuck them over. Decent yeah, good crab. He's only got one claw, but it's still a decent yeah, crab. Decent size. Yeah, yeah, nice. And then what you got left in there? Let's have a quick look. Just a spider. Just a spider crab. Right. Two and of course, these are the two lobsters that we had out the pot, and they will be sized, those two. So, nice, nice pot that. A very good pot. Right. Just double check. They are. Yeah. Easy. And easy. And here. Right. one and this will be too small I'm gonna say that one's too small yeah too small This is our square pot, I think. This is our last pot. That's a legal one, just about. Right, we're on the fishing mark. And it's breezy as anything out here. Look, we're right.
went down and it is fish. <laughs> Right, you might be able to hear the wind's picking up, the waves are cresting a bit. But we are catching fish, we've had a decent amount of mackerel so far, and we have picked up a couple of decent pollock, a couple of biggies, so we're going to keep going for a bit longer, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there, and then we're going to head back in probably before the high tide, because it's going to get real mucky out here when the tide starts to really run. There it is. It's a nice one. Yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. Little bass, we. Came up on the maculas. Whoop. And off he goes. Got to be about, ooh, I'd say, ooh, about, ooh, about nine o'clock. Half eight. Let me have a look. Eight thirty. Bang on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! And the fish is happening. And it's mackerel. I can tell. Mackerel. That's no mackerel. It's a big pollock, just like I said. Big pollock. <laughs> if that's a mackerel, I've suddenly become very weak. Ah, but it might be a beamer. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a beamer. A beamer pollock. Look at it. Look at it. 
don't fall over. I know you're excited, but <laughs> stay on your legs. Right, so, you're going down for another one. Right. Is where there's one, there could be more. Getting a few pollock now. It's because the water's slackened off a bit, you get the pollock. When it runs too hard, they don't like to feed so much around here. Because, I mean, when it runs hard here, it runs hard. <laughs> Right, well, we are going to make our way back in, I think, before it gets too rough out here. It's alright at the moment, but it will pick up with the tide. There you go, box of mackerel. And every one of those will be going as food. <laughs> <laughs> 